let's look at how new cells are actually made. Now, this is a very complicated process, but we're going to keep it relatively simple just so you understand the main point of how cells can be made into new cells. So that was the one of one of the properties of life that we talked about is that cells can only come from pre-existing cells. So there are lots of different levels of difficulty for this, but let's just start with the basic ideas here. I just mentioned this. New cells can only be formed from existing cells. And the number of organelles increases while the cell grows. So as you have a new cell, as it's preparing to divide, the, all the little parts inside, the mitochondria, the ribosomes, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, maybe we didn't mention endoplasmic reticulum, but don't worry, that's another thing. You can call it the E are and try to find out what that does. Anyways, if I make a new cell, I actually have to copy everything that's inside it, or at least make sure we're ready to have all those things. So that includes all the DNA that's inside. We have to make a copy of all of that at some point, and then a copy of all the small bits and pieces that are in there that do the different jobs that a cell does. If you don't copy those things, then you end up making a new cell that's empty. So you actually have to increase the number of organelles that are in there. And cell division specifically has a fancy name. This is specifically for when the DNA actually divides. It's called mitosis. So if you search online for cell division, you'll often see this word mitosis, which has many stages, but we're not going to go through that right now at this point. So I guess the easiest thing you can think of is that one cell goes like this and it's going to get larger and then imagine it gets squeezed down the middle and it gets pinched and it's going to turn into two cells. You're going to see this in many different types of animations in class basically. A plant cell does the same thing. A plant cell is a little, little more tricky because uh, the plant cell has something called a cell wall around the outside that makes it very rigid and so as it's preparing to divide um, it's going to do it in a more structured method basically. And so if you follow this actual path here, we, we start with a cell right here and the cell is getting ready to divide and so in order to do that we need to actually uh, double the amount of DNA material that's in here. And so you can see the nucleus is doubling, it's dividing over here and the cell actually divides. So this jelly stuff which is called the cytoplasm starts to divide and you can see that happening here. Eventually it splits completely and then some of these cells will actually continue to grow and divide further. And then some of them, and this is the really cool part, some of them depending on what type of cell we are uh, in the very beginning can actually specialize and turn into a specific type of cell, okay, called a specialized cell. The process is also called differentiation. If you imagine, if you go all the way back in time to when you were a baby and go even further back in time to when you were just uh, right after the sperm cell and the egg cell combined and you were this one cell in the beginning, so tiny that you couldn't even see if, if you were sitting on top of the table right there. In the beginning, you were just one cell, but now you're made up of billions of cells, lots of different types of cells. So at some point, those cells that you were, uh, that you started off as, had to make more copies of themselves because you can't go from one cell to one billion without actually dividing. So some of those cells actually divided into extra cells and they continue to divide. But at some point, some of those cells that divided started turning into specialized cells like skin cells, heart cells, pancreas cells, muscle cells, and all the different types of cells that make you, make you who you are, basically. So that's one uh, special thing that happens there. Um, Lots of animations on YouTube for this, so check it out. But it's going to get pretty complicated, so try not to get too confused. So I've made a really silly looking, boring animation that looks like this. Oh wait, that's not very cool. Okay. It's meant to not do this flipping thing. It's doing this flipping thing, so it looks, it looks dumb. Anyways, that's the best I could do using PowerPoint's minimal drawing features. Okay. Cells divide. And when do they divide? They divide when you are growing. Obviously, you have to grow. And they divide when uh, you are repairing various types of cells. Um, so if I cut my, cut my hand and I get a little cut there, you notice that eventually that cut dis disappears. So you're actually forming new skin cells. You're not just forming new skin cells when you cut yourself, you're forming new skin cells like all the time. So most of that dust you see on the floor, uh, a large proportion of that is actually dead skin cells from you and your family. So next time, think about that while you're sweeping.